What's up everybody? Today we're going to show you how to 3D print your dog. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so first things first, we're going to show you guys the two websites I use to create the 3D files for my dog. So this, I don't even want to like attempt to say this one, honestly. Um, you can read it here. Now, when you first go to the website, it's going to be in all Chinese. Um, using Google Chrome, you can just go ahead and right click and there's like a translate to English button. And when you click that, it just has like a little pop up and you just, you know, confirm it. So there's a few things on this one. You can upload single image, multiple image. We'll show you both of those and what I did in order to get the results I got um, and walk you through that. The second website is actually going to be Rodin. Um, and it's like hyper 3d.ai. I'll actually put both links to each website down below. So you do have to create an account for both of them. The other website actually gives like 20 free credits. Um, so you can generate 20, uh, STLs or 3d files before you have to pay or sign up or anything. I did everything for free. I also used Rodin as well. And when you sign up, um, using just your email and stuff, you actually also get a few free credits. So I've actually spent zero money on actual AI websites or any tools that I used in order to create um, the files that I'm going to show here today. All right, so all you really have to do is drag your image into Rodin and then you're going to hit generate. So right now it's generating an image for me. Um, it takes a little bit, but as you can see here, it, it does look like I first used a realistic file. So I just took out the background in Canva. You can see here, it's it looks pretty good, but when you start looking closer, like the eyes are really funny and it's just not as fleshed out as I would really want it to be. When I started looking at it and looking at the feasibility of like actually printing this, I thought it would be kind of funny. Um, maybe I should have actually just 3D printed this one because I actually never went through and 3D printed it. As you can see there also as well, I used one of my credits. I believe you get five credits. And yeah, look at this. Look at the eyes on this. Like I was like, this, there's just something not right about this where um, I don't know. I didn't even want to attempt to print it. I'm still like trying to figure out the UI here. You can just try to, you know, that I recorded this as I was doing it. And as you see there, you just hit the STL button and you just hit download. And then you can just straight transfer this over to like Bamboo Lab or whatever slicer you're using to 3D print. So here is where I actually have it uploaded into Bamboo Studio. And I'm just, I don't know, I just took a look and you know, the eyes just were one of those things that were really sticking out to me when I was going to possibly attempt to 3D print this. I was like, what? what is this like i don't know i it just didn't seem to make sense to me so i went ahead and took the next steps that were recommended in the video that i mentioned earlier so in the video that i linked uh down below that i originally got this idea from as far as using the ai that was in chinese um it said that it was better if you have a cartoon version so he used some sort of cartoon where he had ChatGPT kind of generate the images for him and he provided like a prompt, I believe. So this is just, I just straight up uploaded the picture of my dog and I said, hey, can you just generate me a cartoon? He also mentioned that it's good to have like 360 views. So in this where you're going to upload all of your like AI, uh, to or where you're gonna upload all your images to generate your STL in this AI, you can hit multiple images and you can do all, you know, just from, from every single angle. So I wanted to make sure that I was getting all of them, but ChatGPT was being funny. So you guys got to remember, you only have so many images you can generate with ChatGPT for free um, until you run out. And I actually used all mine today just doing this project. So I, I, I asked it just, can you do the images? And it wouldn't give me more than one image at once, but it did end up giving me most of the images when I just singly asked for each one. So that that might work for you guys if you want to do it this way but i found out that really honestly all i really needed was this image and i'll show you i'll show you what happened when i actually uploaded all four images i'm laughing because it's it's just so funny so this is where you upload all four images and then you just hit generate image and then it just takes a few minutes to actually upload it didn't actually take this full 240 seconds but as you can see here I don't know if it was because one of the angles had a different ankle tail or what, but this is the file we end up with. Two tails. I was just going to cut one off, 
but it just didn't seem like the model would work as well. This is where, like, you could see. So some of the animated images I uploaded actually had two different, like, tails. So, so that's what happens. If it's not all the same, it may not work as well. So this is the result when you just upload a single image. So I went back, I redid it, I only uploaded the single image, and this is the STL. I was actually really liking the way this was looking. It's got kind of like that Scooby-Doo vibe. Like, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. So then what we did was we uploaded this to Bamboo Slicer. All right. So this is right out of the 10 cent. Um, I believe that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. That's right out of the 10 cent AI. So I haven't changed too many things or I don't really play around with Bamboo settings too much, right? As far as supports, I'm pretty standard. Sparse infill, 10% is fine to me. Um, standard is 15%. You can go with that if you want it to be a little heavier. And actually on these, I'd probably recommend staying heavier rather than going lower. I just want to print these pretty fast. The gyroid, I, I don't know, guys. With infill, I don't really find a difference. I do think that it moves probably a little smoother on a on a bed slinger with this it doesn't perform as well like on the satari carbon when i was using the guy right it doesn't perform as well um as far as supports i just do normal tree supports auto every single time these down here all of these settings you can pause it and copy them but i copied them from a random reddit post and so far they've been working pretty good so i if you want to use them and try them out you can I'm not some sort of like 3D printing genius that plays around with all these like advanced settings and stuff. I find someone who did it well on the internet and copy them, honestly. So I'm going to try to find the Reddit post and give them proper credit on this video uh, for that. So with that being said, I went ahead and I just prepared this. I sliced it and we printed it. So let's go ahead and show you what the result was. So this is the very first 3D printed file that came off the printer for Madoge. So you can see just how small this is. So just to get a scale, I got like a miniature paint bottle and it is like, it, she came out so small. I ended up breaking her leg. Um, so I was like, there is no way I can just leave her this small. So I did print another one. So immediately after that, I went ahead and printed this one. I ended up breaking the leg again. Um, I don't think it was like a clean print. I, I, I'm not really sure. But you can see she has like a super dog thing here. It's kind of hard to see kind of like where the supports were with it being black um, filament. So that's when I realized I'm going to have a problem showing you guys almost dropped her. So we're going to go ahead, see how, just like double the size there. So let's go ahead and set these up. All right, so now this is where I can really show you guys. Being brown, um, it, I kind of focused all the supports on the bottom, right? And then it's inevitable to have some here in the mouth. Now on the 10 cent file, it is just kind of hard to get in here. So there was some supports like right in there that I pulled out with some pliers. Um, overall, it, it comes out good, but when this this print is bigger, it's more noticeable. Like this is where the hair was on her chest, the white hair, but they make it more of like a symbol that like protrudes here. So that's what that one looked at. And then I just did one more bigger one that, you know, the bigger these are, the bigger you print these, the cleaner they come out. Um, so you can see here on the left-hand side, just a sneak peek of a different one. Um, so I think, I don't know, I think it looks great, like all set up right here, it, it, it looks awesome. So this is what um, resulted from when I went back to the Rodin and I just did the single image upload. I actually thought that this came out really good. Um, I think it was actually my favorite of the two models because it kept her ear just like one was higher than the other. So it, it had a little more character. Um, but I did print more of the 10 cent just because that's the first one I attempted with the single image. But, you know, as far as going back and looking at this one, I'll, I'll show you the result of this one, which I think actually ended up being my favorite. All right. So here is the rodent dog stacked up against the rest. Now you can see just how big she is compared to the other ones. Of course, you know, with it being the last one, I wanted to make sure it was the biggest. Now, as I sat here comparing these more and more, I actually found that I liked this one a little bit more just because there's details on the eyebrows. There's more tongue details. Yeah, there's a little bit, 
you know, underneath, but, and it's got this like patch here that I'm not necessarily a fan of, but overall, I think the details add to it a lot more and give it a lot more character. Now, this one is a good model still as far as like just being generated with AI, but overall, I do think that this one came out looking much better. Now, could it be the brown? Could quite possibly just be the brown. I don't know. I don't, I'm not crazy about this orange, but you know what? They're both here to stay. If you guys made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you for watching. And with that being said, use these websites at your own risk, right? I didn't really look into like the security concerns. Maybe I should have a little more. But with that being said, um, I thought it was cool to use some of these AI programs that I actually found someone using on YouTube. So again, I'll be sure to link that person's video down below. Outside of that, right, there's there's nothing going to take away the human element of these artists, right? I'm going to continue to support artists on the side. I just thought this was a cool project to try out for a day, learn a little bit about AI and how it works, as well as I've, I've used ChatGPT before. I think most of us have. So I figured it'd be cool to also incorporate that into it as well. Now, I, I didn't pay anything for these AI programs, right? I used just the free credits they gave me um, between Ronin and Tencent, like, or Rodin. Um, I, I didn't pay anything. I even used the free version of ChatGPT to generate those pictures. But, you know, it, it all worked out in the end. I think I got some pretty good results. So it shows you that you don't have to pay for the paid subscription models to at least get something out of it. Now, if you want to continually use it, of course, you're going to have to pay for those. But I've never paid for any of these websites. And also, this is my first time using this website. So hopefully they're all safe um, with that. You know, I, I can't guarantee the safety of them, right? Um, you know, I used them. Maybe I should have looked a little more into it. Uh, but outside of that, guys, I truly appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below what you want to see next. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of my cute little doggy. And I'll see you guys next time.